This man that you are seeing right here in this video is called Father Buzo. He's a, he's a strong prophet. He's a reverend father. They kidnapped him at a camp born in Anambra state of Nigeria. That was on Wednesday. When I go to the comment section, when I, saw, I see this video, it seems that they have released him. But there is many reason why I'm making this video. Because of our young prophet, Pastor Destiny. I don't know the reason why people don't like good thing. This man that we are seeing called Father Buzu is a strong prophet. God has been using him in a mighty way. Is it fruit of the womb? Is it healing? Deliverance? God has been using him to deliver people. I have been hearing Father Buzu, Father Buzu, Father Buzu. All of a sudden on Wednesday I heard that they kidnapped him. But from the, what I said in the, saw in the comment section is like they have released him, but you can't know the <clears throat> you can't know the actual truth. But there's something I want you to see. There's something I want you to see. Get patient and come. Let me show you something. Uh, when I go through the comment section, this particular person called Chi Lover, she's the one that posts this video in her own page. Now this Chi Lover are one of those people on this social media. That is, their own content is all about pastors, reverend fathers. When they hear any error, they will use it against them. There are people eh, they will ne that will never allow fa reverend fathers, Father Mbaka, Ebu Kobi, all these priests, they will never allow them drink water and drop cup. Listen, now, this particular person now, Father Buzu, according to her, is from Nokwa, in Anambra State of Nigeria. Meaning that, that the man is from her own kindred. Meaning that Father Buzo she is, 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 is as in her own person. They are from the same kindred. Now, she, people that is following her, they are following her. Please share this video, let other people see. They are following her because they are, those people that are following her are unbelievers. They are traditionalists. So, she is the type they, that we carry... Pastors, the reverend father, they will put it. They will be saying a different thing. She lover, Ono Bodo, Ebony Son, they are plenty. They don't use they don't use ear to hear about pastors, pro, um, reverend father two times. As she posts this video, telling people to pray for him because he's his own person, because he's from his own kindred, because he's a good man. Look at the one of the comments that I saw as I entered. The comment section. Listen, because I was surprised hearing him saying good things about this person. Because there are people that is after men of God. Let me see a comment. Let me show you a comment. This person said, Dami OJ said, Please, I want to ask where is Jesus when he was being kidnapped. Are you listening? Anyway, you guys should intensify your prayer. Shout in the loudest voice so that God of Israel can come over from Israel because Nigerian God hasn't get fuel yet. In those, Jesus, they do everything. Or you start calling him now. This is the reason why I am angry of content creators making mockery of um, Pastor Destiny. This is the reason why I am angry of content creators making mockery of Pastor Destiny. Pranking him, using him to do yeah, yeah, make him to do caricature. Now God gave him a weapon that caused to fight his battle. To fight his battle. When MZ and Tony came with soldiers, which I believe they will be fake soldiers, who knows if they want to kidnap him? Who knows if they want to kidnap him and buy him? God now make, make, make them to release him. Even post a video coverage of, of the incident. Have you ever heard from Pastor Destiny that after they put him inside the booth, they beat him again? We did not hear. God is the one that make Tony to confess. Make them to confess how they punish this man. A prophet can never be honored in his own land. Those people that kidnap Farabuzo, who knows who sent them to go and kidnap them? This is one of the reasons why people are recommending security for Pastor Destiny. That is where I'm going to. This is the reason why people are recommending security for Pastor Destiny. 
But I want, you, uh, I want you to understand something. Pastor Destiny is somebody that trusts the God himself. He, serve. he trusts the Lord himself. He, know, he trusts that if God tell him to go here, that nothing will happen. Nothing will, never happen. nothing will ever happen. There is one, one, um, one passage in the Bible that said that if God did not protect the land, Security that is planted in that land to protect that place, they are, they are securing the place in vain. Abu na chine keche ro buru nef kandi onye nche neche. So, no matter the amount of security, Pastor Destiny, I know that as a woman, you need a security. But no matter the amount of security, we recommend to Pastor Destiny or we give Pastor Destiny, what will happen will surely happen. And if God is not there to protect him, if enemies want to attack him, they will attack him and get him. Father Mpaka, many years ago, they attacked Father Mpaka. When they, all the bullets, they fire Father Mpaka, bullets come and land in the Bible. That's why he say, sang one song, he said, I can't remember how to sing it very, very well. Good people don't last. That's why we need to be praying for any prophet, any reverend father that God has been using to set us free, to deliver us, to bless us. We need to be praying for them. So in as much that you are watching Pastor Destiny, the, the mighty work God has been using him to do, we can't use because of that and say that we will not be praying for him. We keep on praying for him on daily basis so that God will keep on increasing his anointing to deliver many peoples. For Father Buzo, I don't know if they have released him or not. Family, try to pray for him. He's a good father, reverend father. I could remember my ex-girlfriend used to tell me about Father Buzo, Father Buzo. He, she used to go for Father Buzo. He's a good person. He's a good man. God had been using him in different ways. He's a good man. That the person that sent kidnapper to go and kidnap him, what do you think that he did to them? Nothing. Maybe one occultic man in his church. Maybe he preached against the occultic man. Because when you are in, in a church and the preacher is preaching, if you reach that particular thing that you are doing, it will be like you are the one that the man is, is pointing hand at. So that is one of the challenges prophets, reverence are facing. When a, they are preaching the gospel, whenever a preacher is preaching, most of the things that come out from their mouth is what God puts in their mouth. Sometimes they don't even know what, that, what is coming out from their mouth. And when they're preaching, it, some people will take it personal. Some people will take it personal. Unlike this online saga that is going on, a lot of lemon, blah, 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 blah. Some people that think that they are, they are Mary's fans or Joyce fans, they will take it personal. When you do video now to say the truth, because it's against the person's belief or faith, the person will take it personal and be against you. This is how it, how it works in the life of prophets pastors, reverend fathers, and all the priests. So, I don't know what he did to the whoever that sent the enemy to come and kidnap him at a camp, but that day was very, very terrible. All the security, they are everywhere. But for the glory of God, if they have come back, may God receive all the glory. If you never come back, let us continue to pray for him. And for Pastor Destiny, let us continue to pray for him until God finish the work he wants to use him to do in this world. My name is Authority Voice, a.k.a. The Professor of Vita Truth. Share this video. I appreciate you all that shared my video, that comment, that, you know, that, as in, that give a thumb up. All of you, I appreciate you all. I say may God Almighty bless you. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. One love.